Hey guys. guys. Welcome back to our channel. Plots with a twist. Where we discuss books. Amongst other things. And today, getting into another little list. Mm -hmm. A little list. A little list that we we like to make lists. And this one, we're talking about some popular books that we really don't have any major interest in reading. So yeah, <laughs> so let's get into it. All right. You want to start? Because you're not confident in your list. I don't think I am either. I though. feel like I will eventually read some of these books I have on my list. Maybe, probably not. But maybe, I, I don't know. That's probably true for every book in the world. Like, calm down. You're not going to no, read it. No, but these specific ones, no, like, maybe like two of them I may read. That okay, one. well, start with okay. the one you know you're not. Oh, okay, so boom. I'm <laughs> definitely not reading any of the Sarah J. Mass um, Court of Rose and Thorns books. I don't know, not because I've heard good things. I've actually heard mixed reviews on them. Like, I've heard, like, the first one was good, the, cup, the one after was bad. But I feel like since I'm reading, like, Lee Bardugo and I've been really, like, getting more into fantasy, just a little bit, just a little bit, because I don't really love fantasy. That's what I like to say. But, um, yeah, they keep, like, pushing Sarah J. Mass at me, and I'm like, no, I just... <laughs> I don't... It doesn't take me when I see the covers. It kind of gives... I don't know. So... Yeah, not right now. Not interested. Not gonna do it. Okay. You gonna read it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I said that before. I really don't have a strong interest in reading those either. I don't know. So yeah, I'm not confident in my list. I'll say that because things change. I could change. You know, mm -hmm. my they interest change. could change. Right. So I'm pretty solid in some of these. But the okay. So since you said a series, I have a series. So I don't think I'll ever read the Lord of the Rings series. Like. I enjoy the movies. I, love the movies, I enjoy though. that type of content, but I don't think I go read the books. I feel like the books are a lot more labored of a read um, because they feel I feel like they're slower. They have, of course, a lot more details. And when it's a lot of details in that specific genre, it's mm -hmm. a lot. And I don't I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I don't think okay, I, can do I can see that. I see that. I see that. So, yeah. All right. So next on my list is a book that I've been seeing like circulating in a Sorry, y'all. My dog is in the background. I can't even, so I just realized. It's <laughs> funny. Okay, so another book that I've been seeing like circulating around, and just because I think the TV show is about to come out for it, is The Time Traveler's Wife by oh, Audrey yeah. Nif Niffinger? Niffinger? Okay. <laughs> I think that's her name. Look, look, look. That's not it. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I say it. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Wasn't there another book called The Time Traveler's Wife and it was a movie? Yeah, it's a I'm movie. About? Oh, it's but it's not the same thing? It is the same thing. With, um, what's the guy that was in it? You know what I'm talking about? Eric Bana? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was in Hannah. Okay, so, I don't know. Now I want to Google it because I'm like, am I making this up? Or is no. there a movie called The Time Traveler's Wife? So, is it a show? Gonna be a show? Yeah, but there's okay. something new coming out and I think that's the show. But okay. Anyway, that's why, that's tangent. But that's why I've been seeing it around. And I'm like, oh, should I read that? I'm like, I'm not going to read that. It's I, even like the little previews. I pro I will watch the show, like, say, social media hypes it up and say it's a good show. But I'm probably not going to check it out otherwise. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the next one I have, I put... I'm just being realistic. I'm being realistic. I'm being realistic. I'm being realistic. And that is A Promised Land by Obama. I'm not going to read it. I'm not. I'm not. I might. You should read I might. It. But I'm not. I don't think so. Like, it's yeah. hard. It's like, hard for playing. me. It's hard <laughs> for me. It's hard you for me. You didn't agree with me coming, so. Right. So. What do I expect? That's not as funny. <laughs> I ain't reading that either. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, but I'm not really that jazzed up to do it. I'm not interested in reading it. I'm not interested in I love Obama. Like I'm I'm intrigued you as the person with that. <laughs> right. I'm intrigued with the person he is and became and all that. But I don't want to read about it. I don't know how I get it any other way, but I guess he is he has some shows. He brought based mm -hmm. on his life and stuff. No, I think the story will be interesting. I don't think I just don't think politicians like interesting. Are, yeah that like mm -hmm. they're um books and storytelling be like interesting it yeah it's dry I don't so know. so we'll see but not interested okay so next for me is one that Kristen 
raved about and i actually see other people like talk about a lot too and i think it has a no i'm not gonna say that but <laughs> what you about to say? now i love to say i think it has a subset of people that really like it because they're attached to like the 80s and games and culture and stuff like that but that might not be shoes it might just really be a good book and that's ready player one by ernest Klein. oh my god and um what you to say about me you like <laughs> Which is nothing I wrong with that. Like eighties culture, like y'all y'all know the eighties was the whole thing. Eighties, it's like just pop culture. Period. Yeah, it could be any period. But I feel like the nostalgia of like the you know yeah. is what people like like and they like that era. So yeah, cool, but I just uh, I'd agree. I guess. <laughs> it was cute. It was cute. And that's what I heard. And like now the second one, no, but the no, first one, okay. yeah, the first one was cute. So yeah, okay. Okay, I said that one, that one. Okay, so let's get into some uh, other books. So I'll say um, The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. Mm -hmm. So I just struggle reading slavery. I just struggle reading that type of stuff. And yeah. I heard it was a really good book. I've seen like great praise about it, but I'm just not interested or jazzed to read it. Um, will I read it one day? Maybe, but it's not. It's not even nowhere near like my high priority oh, high, yeah. reading list. Like, but it does it keep popping up to you for you. To it do does that? keep popping so up I because I think <laughs> we'll see. But I just, I just don't do well with that content. It just makes yeah. me mad. I, don't I just read don't that like being mad about like that. It's the reality. It's like, but I don't want to read about it. So, yeah. That's one I probably I have no interest in reading. I probably won't, but I probably will. We'll see. Mm. Okay, so another one for me is another one that Kristen. I feel like my next ones are so like, your list is just hating on me. No, no, I just it's certain books <laughs> that I just don't. I'm not interested right now. Okay, that's why I want to hate No, on you. but that's Let why I said my, my list is kind of like, I'm not confident in my list. Because I feel like I would read them, but they just are not like main top priority for me right now. But Kristen so, just so happened to have read them recently and loved them. But it's like, I'm not reading that right now. What is it? So next one is Verity by Colleen Hoover. <laughs> and I think I'll, maybe I'll read it later on down the line, but probably not. And that's why I said my list is shaky. Okay. But yeah. It was all right. It went. It was good, but it wasn't. It was and it wasn't. Right. And I feel like that's another reason why I'm like, eh. <laughs> it, it's not a must read, but it was good. It was good for what it was. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay. So another book I don't think I'll ever read. I don't even think I'll watch the movie. Um. Me Before You by Jojo Meyer Moyers. That's paying like on you. Um. So, well, I won't <laughs> watch the movie either. I. Yeah. I. It's romance. And I don't have a problem with romance, but I do. Mm. I don't know. It's just like it's romance. It's someone with a disability. It's just a lot of like heartstring things that I just don't want to deal with. I can see that. Does that seem negative? No. I, I don't know. Like I don't want to be, I don't like, I don't mind. Do you feel like it's cheesy or it's just, just like too many things it's just, over? It's too many things. I don't have time. It was. The movie like, was, but it's cute. Cry. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. Not intentionally. Like, no. You can't take that on your heart right now. I can't. So, okay. I'm not Makes interested. Sense. I'm not interested. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, so last one for me is... Last one, yeah. Is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Christina <laughs> Hanna. I... It's not that I would... It sounds good. It sounds interesting. But I feel like I, I bought that book. I might have given it away, I think. Um, <laughs> and, like, it just hasn't been... I don't know. I just don't want to read it, and I just feel like I'll wait till the show or the movie comes out and watch it. Because it sounds like an interesting story, but be good. yeah, it sounds like an interesting story, but it's just like uh, I don't want to. Historical fiction is hard to get through. I always give Kristen crap about not liking historical fiction, but it is sometimes hard, hard to push through. But I've enjoyed it a lot. But yeah, I don't know about that one. Okay, well, my last one, I'll say an author. Oh, author, whole oh, author. I don't. You said whole oh, author. I said that series, but yeah. But she got a whole, whole bunch author. of others. Yeah, yeah, I know. And now um, John Green books. Okay, 
it's again same reason i wouldn't read the me before you maybe her books maybe all her books if you want to say that but um they're just too sappy too oh my gosh she goes away for the summer and she meets the love of her life and she's <laughs> 18 and life is just right. and it's like it sounds cute uh, it's, it's, cute. You know, you know, John it's so cute it is so life. cute it's so cute that i don't want to read it like yeah. no uh-uh no all that give cuteness me, like, like give me a little bit of a little bit of gruff a little bit of like uh, <laughs> gotta yeah. clear your throat i don't know but it's just mm -mm. i can see that but watch i'm gonna read them so our whole list are books we say we're not interested in reading but we probably we read them low-key read we you might know? read them it's so like let us know some of the popular books that you will never check out that yeah. you have no interest or in checking that out we mentioned that y'all like no read it but i feel like y'all probably feel the same way about most of these books well i think so most of the books no nah, i watch they're gonna be like like this video subscribe ring the bell and we'll be back next time bye, bye.